Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is part 7 of our little day-night tutorial. Now originally I had planned on taking this project that we've been working on and incorporating it into our little hack and slash tutorial, but I figured some people might not actually want to go through the whole hack and slash tutorial and just want to learn how to do a, a day-night cycle. So for that reason I'm actually going to finish the whole thing in its own separate project and then include everything over. And it also tends to lend to, I guess, a bit better design because you could build all these little modules separately, have them all working completely, you know, isolated from the rest of your project. So when you incorporate it into your project later on, if there's anything wrong, uh, it should be a little bit easier to debug for you. So let's open up Unity and Mono Develop. If we take a look here at our suns, we've already set up uh, some exposed variables for our brightness and this controls how bright the sun is going to be if there is a light attached to it so you notice here the red sun we don't have a light attached to it and our yellow sun we actually do so we're, what we're going to want to control is the intensity of this light and we're going to do that through a script so right now i have the max light brightness set to five and the min light brightness set to zero so let's open up the script and take a look at it. Now since we have these marked as public, we don't need to create any accessors for it, so we don't need to create a getter and setter for it. But let's take a second to think uh, exactly how do we want this to work. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is when I hit sunrise, I'm going to start the value off at its min, whatever that might be. So for instance, I have zero for my min. Then as it rises up to noon, which will be when the light is pointing straight down, I want it to be at its max brightness. So in this case, it'll be 0.5. And then once it gets past uh, the noon time, I want it to start fading back down till it hits zero or its min light brightness and just stay there again until it hits the uh, sunrise again. Now, as you notice, not all of them have a light attached to it. So we'll have to accommodate that in the script. So we'll have to check to see if we actually have a light source attached. And if not, we don't want to try to adjust that value because it won't work. So let's add that little bit of code first to our Sun script. Now I'm going to make this a public variable. And it's going to be of type bool. And I'm just going to call it uh, gives light. And by default, I want to set it to false. And if we go back and look in Unity, if we look at our script, you'll notice here it's not checked. Now I'm going to add in our start method a function to actually check to see if we actually have that component for the light. And if so, switch it to true. But you don't really need the method as you can just take a look yourself when you're creating your light and like this one doesn't have it so you'd leave it unchecked and if you came over here since this one does have a light component you could just check it yourself but a lot of times I forget and I'm just gonna add in the in the start method to turn the light on if it has it so we'll make our start method now since all we're doing is just checking for a component we'll just go if and then get component and the component we're looking for which will be a light and we're just going to check to see if it exists so if it doesn't exist this is actually going to equal null but since we're checking to see if it does exist and if it does exist we'll want to switch the give light variable to true we're going to check to see if it does not equal null we'll close that off and then if it does not equal null we'll just say give light equals true now we'll save that off, go back to Unity, and we'll take a look here at our yellow sun, and we'll notice that it, it's not checked. It's false by default, according to the script. And same as the red sun. So when we start this up, since this does have a light component, this box should get checked. And the red sun, since it does not have a light component, it should uh, not check that box. So I'm gonna target the yellow sun, hit play, and just watch over here and we'll notice that give sun does get checked here 
We'll check the red sun and it's not getting checked. So we'll just stop that. Now I'm going to go back into Mono Develop and I'm going to go over to my game time script and I'm going to want to know exactly, you know, when is it noon? And since we have it set up where we're, we input a certain amount of minutes that we have for our day, and in my case, I have it set to half a minute, which is 30 seconds. Uh, it starts off at zero and it just keeps, as it rotates around, counting up. Well, I know noon is going to be exactly halfway through that cycle. So I'm just going to create a variable here, which will be private. And of type float. And since it's private, I always prefix it with an underscore. And I'm just going to call it noontime. And I quickly throw a comment on it. And to say this is the, oops, didn't get my extra slash in there. This is the time of day when it is noon. So maybe you want your noon to be offset, maybe three quarters of the day or whatever you want. You can set it however you like it. Mine's going to be halfway through the day, which should be 12 in the afternoon. And then down here where I have sunrise, sunset, I'm going to go ahead and say noon time is equal to day cycle in seconds divided by two. So now that I know when sunrise is, sunset is, and noon time, I can go ahead and just take the difference between sunrise and noontime and that little fraction of time is what I'm going to use as a modifier to uh, make the sun you know its proper brightness and then likewise between noontime and sunset when I want to start fading it down so let's take a look at that next so I'm going to create a function here that'll set my lights up and since my game starts at midnight uh, I'm going to want to have all my lights set to their minimum value so I'm going to create a private function. It doesn't return anything, so it's void. And I'm just going to call it uh, setup lights. I guess I'll call it lighting. Now it doesn't receive a parameter. And I'm just going to iterate through all of our SunScript objects. So we'll just use a simple for loop. And all you see in here is my counter. We'll check to make sure that CNT is less than the length of the array for our sun script. And then just increase the counter. Now I want to go to, I'm going to want to check that flag that we set. Give light. And if it's checked, I'll adjust the lighting to be at its minimum. If not, I'm not worried about it. So if sunscript in the index we're at which is going to be cnt dot give light so we're checking to see if this is going to return true and if so we'll adjust the light intensity to its minimum value so we want to get a reference to its game object which i've stored here or at least its transform as sun so i'm just going to say sun give it the index that we're at dot we'll want the game object since we're looking to get well actually no we can get a component from the transform so get component the component we want which is light and it should have it since we're checking here and this value will be false if it does not have a light and this should be a capital L as you notice the mono development it turns green or mono develop I should say so I want to get that component and then we're going to want to call its intensity and we're just going to set it to be equal to the value we have set for the minimum value in its sunscript so we'll get the index of it in its sunscript and it was called min light brightness Now we're going to make sure we're calling this and since we're going to want this set when it first loads up I'm going to add it right at the very end of my start method which will be right down here. And I'll put a little comment there to let me know what this is doing. Setup lighting to min 
light values to start. Now I'm going to go over to Mono Develop. I'm just going to quickly check. I don't see any errors. And I'm going to grab the yellow light since we actually have a light there. Uh, I've got the intensity cranked way up right now, but when I start it up, it should drop down. And there we go. It's down to zero. And the red light, of course, isn't affected. Or I guess our red sun isn't affected because it does not have a light source. So let's stop that. And it looks like we're just over 10 minutes in this video, so I'm going to go ahead and save it, uh, upload it, and I'll start another one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.